good afternoon, Year Six. Good afternoon, uh, mums and dads. Thank you very much for joining us for our Meet the Tutor online uh, event today. Um, we've got Miss Heron uh, with you uh, with, with you today, who's going to be your tutor in September. So, without further ado, I'm going to hand over to you, Miss Heron. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Hello guys, um, just want to start by giving you all a really, really warm welcome to Wangels. Um, I'm an RS teacher here at Wangels. Um, as Sir said, my name is Miss Heron. I'm really looking forward to uh, meeting you all in September, um, even though, you know, we're all going to be feeling super, super nervous. And I know this can be a really, really daunting time. Um, I'm also new at this school. So I guess we'll kind of be going through that process together a little bit. So don't worry. And at least now you know that you have at least one familiar face um, when you come in in September. OK, so I'm just going to go through a few different things about myself. Hopefully you can all see the screen. Um, so just a few things about me. Hopefully we'll get to know each other really, really well as we go on through the year um, and I'll get to know all of your guys' interests and likes as well. But yeah, like I said, I'm an RS teacher here, so um, some of you guys might be in my class next year, which will be really good. A um, few other things that I like doing. I love going on walks, running. I've done a half marathon, not quite the full marathon, but I did a half. Um, can't say I've been running very regularly in this heat though. <laughs> Um, I also used to do cheerleading, took part in the London 2012 Olympics, was cheering on a volleyball team on the side, which is really, really cool. Um, I know a lot of you are probably going to be into sports and um, teams and things like that, which is really great. Um, we've got a really, really good sports community here at Wangels, so I'm sure we can find something that fits in for you guys. Next thing that I'm going to just have a little talk to you guys about is um, all about being Wangels ready and some of the expectations of the school. So as you can see there, we've got our um, expectations um, for that kind of form our values um, and everything that we really do around the school. So as a school, we kind of believe in this kind of community aspect. So yes, you might be in year seven, but we try and make everything as close knit as possible. Um, there's some of our kind of core values that we like to um, see in all of our students um, that might be in tutor that might be outside of school um, when you're representing the school at sporting events and also in lessons. So it's all about there being prepared to learn. So making sure you've got equipment, making sure you're really enthusiastic um, being proud of your achievements, efforts and successes. So, you know, kind of taking pride in what you guys are doing. Be proud if you've done something really great. Um, be confident enough to show it off as well, I guess, sometimes. Um, making sure you're being a positive member of the Wangers community all the time. Um, obviously, I know we all have days where we don't feel too positive, but we really try and, you know, call ourselves back up here at Wangels. Um, this is a really, really big one, respect as well. So making sure you're not only respecting yourself, you're respecting everyone else around you. And not just other people, making sure you're respecting kind of, you know, your environment. So not littering, basic things, you know, making sure you're looking after books, equipment, things like that. Um, resilience as well. That's another thing that we like to try and make sure that we focus on here at Wangel. So, you know, if you do a task and you think, oh, this is really difficult. I couldn't possibly carry on going with this. It's having that kind of drive to keep going even when you're not feeling your best. It's trying and trying and trying again. And then the last one, being responsible for speaking and acting towards others in a kind way. Really, really important one as well. Um, I will say as an RS teacher, obviously around the school, every teacher really wants to see these values in you. But I guess as a tutor, I would really, really love and I really want to kind of drill home this idea of our like core values. So making sure that we're being kind to each other especially in our tutor as a community, making sure that we're really respecting each other. Something that, you know, I really, really want to see from you guys. Um, also, you know, merits and behaviour points, things like that um, can come from all of these values. So if you're doing all of those things, if you're making sure your Wangels ready, 
um, you will receive merits and things and then it goes into like a draw at the end of the year and then behaviour marks as well obviously if you're not following some of these expectations then we will kind of put some consequences into place but hopefully that definitely won't happen for any of you. Um, very quickly as well just your uniform um, you guys should have received by now hopefully um, some information on uniform and things um, ordering in things like that so your blazers those are kind of compulsory there's to be worn at all times so even if you're going from classroom to classroom or if you're out at social time so lunchtime or break time they always need to be on um, in this really really hot weather that we're having at the moment we aren't wearing blazers but that's obviously a special exception and you'll be told as of when if that does happen um, school jumpers as you can see from those photos there they're not compulsory um, but if you do choose to wear one it has to be an official rangers grey neck v-neck sorry grey v-neck jumper so an official one not just any old jumper just put underneath um, in the winter obviously sensible coats if it's wet outside make sure you're wearing waterproof if it's cold make sure you're coming in a big coat because it does get really really cold sometimes um, hoodies not to be worn ever so anything with a hood not to be worn obviously coats you can wear coats with hoods but not hoodies um, trousers black tailored or shorts tailored shorts obviously when it's really hot you might want to put shorts on um, but in the winter obviously you might get a bit cold in shorts plain black shoes that goes for boys and girls um, so sensible shoes obviously formal no trainers um, no real logos that can be visible practical black shoes which I'm sure you guys will have um, been wearing in your schools that you're already in at the moment um, you should have a formal white shirt as well it should be tucked in at all times um, that's a big one make sure it's always tucked in um, jewelry makeup things like that so nail varnish um, makeup making sure that you've got sensible jewelry on obviously in kind of line with health and safety just making sure that you're not having really really big um, dangly earrings and necklaces and things that could you know PE and things like that that could cause some issues um, and then skirts as well should be pleated they could be straight or they can be a line so they can kind of like go out a little bit um, tight fitting and elastic tube skirts are not worn here and then you will have plain black tights with your skirts obviously in the summer as well you can choose not to wear tights and then a really really big one there that i don't think i've mentioned but this goes into all of our kind of ethos around the school and all of our policies you see the big red cross through the mobile phone there we don't have mobile phones on site you don't have them at social times you don't have them in lessons walking to and from school obviously for safety reasons you can do that but we don't encourage you to um, have them out at all if they're seen and a teacher sees them and um, you're doing something on them then they will be taken off you so just a pre-warning but I'm sure this isn't going to apply to any of you guys um, and then the last kind of thing that I would like to run through with you guys is just what your first two days are going to look like really so your first day as a year seven is going to be Monday the 5th of September and it's going to be a really really nice day actually so you're basically going to spend the whole day with me in our tutor room getting to know each other um, doing all the admin -y things um, so you're going to arrive at 8 40 um, you'll come through you're going to arrive in the quad so that's in the the main kind of outside bit of the school um, don't worry too much if you aren't sure where that is I'm sure someone will be there to escort you over um, I'm going to hold a sign with your tutor with our tutor name on it so 7E reminder again my name is Miss Heron hopefully you remember my face um, so look for me look for the sign and I'll wave you over and then we'll come into our new tutor room we're gonna go in take our bags in and then we're gonna have a welcome talk it was going to be virtually online but it recently got changed to in the hall which is really exciting so you're going to have our head of year, Mr. Reynolds, who introduced me earlier. He's going to give you a nice talk. And then you've got Mrs. Humber as well, who is our head of school, our school principal. So that will be really nice. Really nice welcome to the day. Um, then we're going to do a tour of the school, a kind of treasure hunt to get you guys really familiar of where everything is. So 
going through the zones, different things like that, which will be really nice as well, I think. Um, something fun to start off the day, um, just getting your bearings and things as well. I'm sure you'll have a map as well, so don't worry if you aren't good with directions, you won't get lost, don't worry. Um, we'll also issue timetables, so um, you'll have your day kind of planned out as a timetable and we have five lessons a day here, so it will tell you what your lesson is, how long it's for, who it's with and where it is. So you might have PE in Y110 with um, one of the teachers. So you would go to the yellow block and then you would go find that teacher. And I'll run you through the levels of the um, buildings and everything on your first day and you'll have maps and things as well. Um, uniform and equipment check is something we'll do as well. I won't be telling anyone off at that stage. It will just be to check that you've got everything. If not, helping you to get it all um, and just checking what you guys need and making sure you're prepared. Um, then we'll also have a little individual check in just with me um, just to see how you are, how your summer was, um, what you've been up to. If you've got any worries about the day or about the year, um, always here. My door is metaphorically always open if you guys ever need anything. We're also going to do canteen fingerprints, which I know is very exciting. The canteen is a massive part of uh, secondary school. So we're going to go get our fingerprints done. So you will go to the canteen, break and lunch when you have your social times and you will put your finger on and your parents can put money on that from uh, Parent Pay, which is a website. Um, which I'm sure there will be instructions and information given out for that as well. And then we'll finish off the day nice and easy with some icebreakers and some activities, just getting to know each other a little bit better. Don't worry, I'm not going to put you guys on the spot. Um, it will just be something really easy and I'll take ideas from you guys of whatever you guys would like to do. And then you'll be leaving at 3 p.m. And then you go home, have a rest, reflect on the day, and then you're back in again on Tuesday, so the following day, again, 8.40, straight to your new tutor room. So that'll be your test to remember where your tutor room is for the next day. Um, and then we're just going to have a nice check over everything, uh, make sure that you're all good, you're all set. Again, any worries, any issues of timetables, etc. Uh, and then we're going to have a little look at your Wangel's passports, which I'm going to go through in a second. Um, and then we'll do some more um, activities and icebreakers just to make sure that we're all super, super comfortable and we've ironed out any nerves or any kind of jitters. And then we're going to start following the school day from whatever time we finish. That might mean you've only got one lesson, um, but whatever it is, we'll be going on with that. And then again, school finishing at three and then your day will continue. Your week will continue on as normal. But those are your first two days, just getting really settled in, which would be really nice. Um, so, yeah, your final thing. <clears throat> I'm not sure if Mr Reynolds has sent this out to you guys or your parents as an email. Um, it is on the school website if you want to have a look to do this. So we've basically done this for a few years. It's the Wangels passport and it's a really, really nice way to, um, to start the year. It's a really nice way to kind of get everyone's um, what they've been doing over summer. It's a really good way to see kind of where you guys are at in terms of your reading, um, things that you've done as well. So essentially what you have to do, it goes through a lot of different um, sections. So you've got art challenges, you've got reading challenges, you've got this one that you can see on there where it says about um, pride, respect, resilience and kindness. So how have you done any of these things? That's a personal one that I would love you guys to fill out just for our tutor. Um, pride, respect, resilience and kindness. Challenge yourself to find, to pick one of those and try and do it over the summer. So whether that be a random act of kindness, um, setting yourself a challenge that you couldn't do before the summer, but by September you, you're able to do it doesn't have to be something massive you don't have to you know take up a, a new sport or a new skill you can if you want um, but it could be something just as small as um, starting to read a little bit more or um, something simple but I would really love to hear about those I think that'd be a really nice thing for us to go through and there'll also be 
um, for this project, which is due on the 9th of September. I will remind you guys as well on um, on that Monday and Tuesday, but the best ones will be put into a raffle um, to win prizes. These aren't obviously compulsory, so if you guys do have work from your previous school, your school that you're at at the moment, if you've already got things or if you're going on holiday and things, you've got loads of stuff planned. I'm not expecting you to stress out over this. This isn't um, a stressful thing that I'm going to tell you off if you don't do. It's just something nice that we can have a little look at and we can talk about and you can have a look at other people's on the first day and be a nice way of getting to know each other. Um, so yeah, it doesn't have to be something elaborate or massive. It can just be something as simple as I held the door open for someone today. That would be nice. And I think, I think that's it. I'm now going to open up our question box, which should be open now. So you should be able to send in questions, should be able to write in questions in the live chat and I will answer them for you um, if you guys have got any kind of worries, any concerns about your first day, about rangers in general. Um, as it says on the slide there, I can't answer any um, specific questions about students. It will be in your tutor group or not in your tutor group, but I'm more than happy to answer anything else for you guys. I'll just wait a few minutes to see if any questions come in. Hi, Miss Erin. If you want to stop sharing your your screen now, and and then uh, and then you can do your Q and A like that. Is that all right? Yes. Oh. Perfect. Oh, we've got some questions in. So the first one that says, should we bring lunch on the first day? Yes, I would say definitely bring either if you're going to bring pack lunch, obviously that's absolutely fine for you to bring pack lunch. Um, or if you're planning on using the canteen system, I would probably bring lunch because I'm not sure when we will set it up. Uh, the canteen will be available, Miss. Okay. Um, so oh. even, if, even if students haven't had their uh, fingerprint scan before lunch, they'll still be able to access it through just telling the cashier their name. Lovely, cool. So yeah, that clears that up. Um, but obviously, yeah, if you would like to bring lunch on the first day, you can. If not, the canteen should be open for you guys. Um, do I know which support teacher we will have in the room? Um, is this going to be in tutor time? I'm not, not entirely sure, sir. Do you? Yeah, um, yeah, no, we we, we sure. uh, won't be publishing that uh, at, at this time. Um, that it will it will be it will vary depending on what resource we have available at any one time. But all of our support staff uh, are fantastic and and will work brilliantly with with all of our tutees. Thank you, sir. Um. What kinds of activities do we do in tutor each day? Really good question. Um, so at Rangers, we have a really, really great um, pastoral team. So all of the heads of year, like Sir on the call, that looks after all of us. So they basically publish a timetable for tutors um, across the whole school. And it's a really nice curriculum that kind of follows. So we have time for reading in some, sometimes in tutor. We do a quiz sometimes. We look at other kind of like pastoral things, so we talk about different things. Um, we have a day where we do um, uniform checks and we have catch ups and things. And there's always time if you have any worries or concerns as well. I think that's I'm not sure if the schedule is changing slightly this year. Um, I don't know if, 
if Sarah's still there. Oh, I think he might have gone. But yeah, um, I will get a schedule for you guys. So I will have it up in our tutor room so we know what happens on Mondays, what happens on Tuesdays. Oh, and we have an assembly one day as well. So that will be a whole school thing. Every tutor group in year seven will go in and it will be an assembly, which will be really nice as well. Um, what do I do if I want to ride my bike to school? Really good question. I don't think I went over this. So um, there are bike stalls, so bike sheds in um, at the front of the school. Um, I believe you would have to bring your own lock for your bike for that. Um, I don't think the school provides them, but you are obviously OK to ride your bikes to school. Um, obviously making sure that you've got your helmets on and things. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you can keep them in school in the kind of um, bike shed. I've seen loads of bikes in there, so I'm sure lots of students do um, bike to school as well. Um, obviously, we do have cameras all around our site as well. So if you're worried about anything like that, um, that shouldn't be an issue of that as well. If I have my phone for travelling to school, where will it be kept? So you are, you can keep your phone, you can have your school phone obviously for travelling to and from school because obviously some people come really, really far and it's really nice to, um, for parents to be able to see and have your location and things like that um, from a safety point. I think it's a really good thing to have. But obviously at school we have um, a kind of zero tolerance policy on the phone. So if you bring it to school with you, it should be turned off and put um, in your bag for the rest of the day and it shouldn't be out until you leave the school site. Um, so we won't take it off you unless we see it out. Um, so just make sure that it's hidden away, obviously in your bags and turned off. Um, yeah, you can obviously have it for safety reasons, so don't worry about that if you're travelling to school. Um, just wait to see if any more come through. that all of your questions uh, done there, Miss Heron, do you think? I think so. OK. Yeah. Well, in that, oh, have we got any, another one? Is that it? No, no more have come through. OK, right. Well, thank you, uh, Miss Heron, and thank you, everyone uh, who's come along to, to, to listen uh, this afternoon. We cannot wait to welcome you in, in September. We are really looking forward to having our new cohort of Year 7s walk through those school gates. So in the meantime, enjoy your last few days of primary school. Uh, have a wonderful summer and we will both see you in September. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys.